a little bit of the upgrade on the last video it's been a while i have drilled the plenum out there was a bit of rust just down in here so wasn't sure what was under it i thought well if i'm going to do this right i'm going to do it right so i've drilled it all out Take the plenum off. So that's all under the plenum, which is actually really good. I did find three little rust holes. So that one there. Cut that out, re-weld the plate back into that. Go back around the other side. Ah, oh, just kick the gearbox. <laughs> that one hurt. And we had two little ones just in there that have been still plated. They're only the size of mat heads. They're very small. But as you can see, all under the plenum. It is really nice. I'll tell you what, starting with a car like this is a dream. No rust down through there. All still good. All underneath, <laughs> really good. So, I have started, this looks like Swiss cheese now. I've had to drill it all out. I've got to replace post steel plate that. Cut that out. Steel plate that. Started to steel plate that. And fill up some of the holes. Back. Get that sorted. And then. I think I'll cover all underneath. Reseal all under there. Weld the plenum back onto it. Which was working every day of the week. Really takes forever to do this off. Coming back through here, there was a big rust hole just in there. All that was eaten out. And so I still plated all that back in. So there's no hole there now. Come back through. Was a vinyl roof. Now, I don't agree with the vinyl. I reckon it holds all the rust in. So I'm actually filling up the vinyl holes there. We will them in. That channel, I've got to replace that. So that'll be a little bit further down. I did pick up some of these vents. In really good condition. They're not broken. They're, um, yeah, really good condition. So, pick two of those up and the inner vents inside. So, bits and pieces here and there that I need. Next weekend I should have the engine for it. So I'll give you an update on that when I get that and whatever parts I get with that. I think I've got three other doors. I've got one door in the back shed. The uh, rust repairs I've done down here. Oh, I'm getting too old. All that was rusted out. So I've re steel plated all that. That I haven't ground that back yet. Inner, you probably can't see the inner too much. I'll get that light on and show the inner again. But all that was rusted out. So I've cut all that out, all steel plated back into that. Down inside as well. That's all welded back in. Come around this side. Make sure where's that piece we made. There we go. We have, try and 
getting right of the camera. This was the old piece that I've cut out. That was off in there. All that. So what I've done, I made a whole new piece. And that will go back into that. Roll that back in there. All on the right angles, which is good. And you know, I was a little bit rusted, which I've got to get in and re weld the inner on that part. And that's just about all the steel welding on this side of the car. I've got these two I've got to do, which I don't think I've made the plate up for that one yet. Partially made the steel plate for that one. Now, if you're wondering how much rust I've cut out of this car, on just this side, and that's with just getting the rest of the parts that I've cut out. The rust in this car that I've actually cut out of this car. Just line that all out for you. This is with Planum as well. That's another piece of modern into that. Now that is the rust I've cut out of this car. That's all the rust in this one side of the body, which is really nothing. So, I'm really, really happy with that. And I think the other side isn't even half of that. So, yeah, like I said in the first clip, the body in this is amazing. It's just, it's a, for the age of the car, I think it's 41 years old now, 78. Yeah, 41 years old. And, as you can see, the floor pans. There's not one speck of rust in the floor pans itself. These just the channels I've pulled off the front to get the planner off. But yeah, there's just no rust, even in the front floors. No rust at all. Excuse a bit of a pigsty because part of these. Out of my old girl, which will be another video. Fully rebuilding an engine for this old girl, and yeah, I want her riding again. <laughs> I want to get in it, so I'll do another video on that shortly. An update, but. Slowly getting past, got new steering bits for it. T5, it's going with the black girl. Which like I said, I'll do an update on the other videos I've got on. Um, yeah, so for the time being, I'll leave it at that. Summer's just around the corner. So I'll be getting back into this old girl again. Hopefully have it in paint by the end of this summer. But that's a big call. So you'll be getting a lot of videos, that's for sure. Um, yeah, pulled out the, the fuel tank. What, no rust in there. Not around the tank at all. So, all right, if you like this, like and subscribe and any comments you'd like to put through. I'll do my best, I'm not that good on the computer. It's my verse. YouTube tape actually so yeah a lot here what people have to say especially about the vinyl roof I'm not keen on it being factory vinyl roof I may go back vinyl again I don't know I just like some input would be good actually black vinyl 
color. I'm mixing on the color. Go back to the original blue, which is that. We'll spice them up a bit. I mean, I've already got one black car, but I was thinking of a cherry black, which will be a candy color. So, yeah. A bit of input would be nice on it. So, hit like, subscribe, and a bit of input would be nice. So, on that note, cheers, and I'll speak to you a bit later.